Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have been anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Taurus Love Prediction reading for January 31st through February 6th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Please don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from and leave the rest. In addition, please know the energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else's in your love space. Keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading, please give me a subscription or a like. I will be most humbled, most honored, and very grateful if you decide to do that. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my stubborn, kind, sweet, patient, loving Taurus, show me what's going on with my Taurus, Spirit Guys. Spirit Guys, show me what's going on with my Taurus. Show me what's going on with my Taurus. Let's see, Taurus, what do you have going on? Three of Cups. Eight of Wands. <clears throat> Six of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, and the Knight of Wands. You got the Three of Cups here with the Eight of Wands. And the Three of Cups is all about having a good time. Whoever you're with, whoever you've been with, this was someone that you just knew and you had a good time with them. Um, you've always had a good time with them. You've always communicated with them. You've had great conversations with them. Whenever you're out and about, there is no problem. It's all fun and games and happiness. But you have the Six of Pentacles at the, in the middle of your reading. And the Six of Pentacles is all about generosity. You've been very kind, very charitable to this person. You've given to this person. Hopefully, I think they've given back to you too. I think this has been reciprocity. I think you both have been giving, um, giving to each other. It's been uh, you've been very charitable to them. They're accepting your gifts too. You see, this woman is giving off her gifts. They're accepting. She has a gift over here. But you know, sometimes Taurus, we give because we want something back in return. And I strongly believe that that is what has happened with you. Because you have given them, but see how this woman has this one that she's still holding? It's like she gives to, she selects who she wants to give to or what type of gift she wants to give to someone. Yes, charity. Yes, it's finding a balance too. But you are trying to find a balance as far as how does it help you? You know, well, who do I give gifts to to help me? It's not just about giving gifts, but who do I give them to? Because this person, like I said, you and this person get along very well. You have a great time together. That part is no doubts about that. Not only that, you you know how you have a friend or someone that you're dating that you can talk about everything, even old loves. You can just talk about everything. You feel secure with them. Yet and still, they haven't made the move that you want them to make. And that move is, is that you want them to be your plus one, only you, because you feel betrayed here with the seven of swords. That's all about betrayal. See how she's looking back at this knight of wands. She's looking back at that knight of wands and that knight of wands is always for me. It's someone that's in and out of your life on and off relationship. It's not a continual relationship. When you get together now, it's on fire. You have a great time. But you give them gifts. You give them kindness because you want them to do something for you. And until you move that, until you move that caveat of just giving them because you want something in return, you're going to always feel like there's a seven of swords. There's a betrayal there. Because you don't give to get something back. You give because you give from your heart space. You give because you are kind and that is what you want to do. You should never expect anything in return for your giving. There's betrayal here. There's betrayal because you feel like you've been betrayed because they still haven't settled down with just you with that Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands, like I said, is my fire pony. It's my when you get together, you feel good pony. When you get together, all is well. All is well when you get together, but then it's like they ghost you. They're with you, then they ghost you. You have a good time with them. You can talk about anything, but then they ghost you. So let's see. Spirit guides. And that's why you give them gifts and money. Because you're trying to keep them. You want them to come with you. So let's see. 
Show me, Spirit Guys. If this is your reading, sit back, relax, because I really want to see what's going on deep inside this relationship that you have, this person that you really want. Show me why the Three of Cups is here for my Taurus. Show me, Spirit Guys. Huh. Will of Fortune. You have the Will of Fortune, which means that when you're with them, you feel like everything is going in your favor. When you get together with them, it seems like everything is going in your favor. The will is moving in your favor. The world is 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 yours. You know, everything you touch turns to gold when you're with this person. But let's see why the Eight of Wands is here. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Show me, Spirit, guys. You have the Star card, which could be an Aquarius person. Did I t not tell you? You're hoping and wishing. The Star card is one of my favorite cards. It's all about hoping and wishing that this person would come and stay with you. That's why you give them gifts and money. It's about you you wishing and hoping that this person, you're having conversations with them about it as well, that they would stay with you and that they would hook up with you, only you. And when I say hook up with you, would be your significant other. So let's see why the Six of Pentacles is here. Show me. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Look at that. The lover's card. Yep. You're in love with them, but like I said, said until you, but you still want to give them gifts to try to make them stay with you. Money, gifts, but that's not what it's about. Um, you give from your heart. You give from your kindness. The gifts don't matter. They have to want to be with you. The lover's card is means you're in, intensely in love with them, and you are really, really trying. You're hoping that they are in love with you the same way that or that they fall in love with you the same way that you have fallen in love with them so let's see why the seven of swords is here show me spirit guys why is the seven of swords here that could be a gemini person as well taurus but let's see why the seven of swords is here show me why the seven of swords is here got that eight of wands again Thank you, Spirit Guides. Whenever you get two of the same cards in the read, that means I'm telling you exactly what the Spirit Guides want you to know. You are um, Seven of Swords is that you're having conversations with them again about them being your plus one. Only you, not anyone else. You're having spirited conversation. You feel betrayed because you feel like you've given them all these gifts and you've given them give, give, give. But you can't give until, until you release that caveat of just giving, giving, giving until you release that from your heart. You won't be able to um, keep them and they won't want to stay with you. Not that they know that that's why you're giving to them. I don't think they're, I think they're oblivious to it. I don't think they know that. But you know it deep in your heart why you're giving. So let's see why the Knight of Wands is here. Show me why the Knight of Wands is here. Show me spirit, guys. Ace of Swords. You have clarity. You have clarity. And also the clarity is coming with the fact that I said you cannot give and expect things in return. You cannot buy someone's love. You cannot look at it that way. You must give from your heart because you want to give. You want to give. So let's say the Three of Cups at the very beginning of your reading. And the Three of Cups, when you're with this person, there's the will of fortune that you have a good time with them. Like I said, whenever you're with them, you feel like um, your world is moving just right. All is well. You, everything you touch turns to go. You and this person um, have great conversations. You talk together. You can talk about anything. You have the star card here. It could be an Aquarius person as well. But that star card means that you actually um, really, really... Um, hope that you can get together with this person but here you hope that you can get together with them but the problem is is the six of pentacles for me in the middle of your readings because you're given only because you want something in return not given because and you could be giving money you could be giving gifts you could be paying bills whatever but you're giving because you want something in return because you're incredibly in love with them and this star card next to this um lover's card could be a gemini person could be anyone but that's what's showing up um means that you are in love with them and you are hoping that they are in love with you and that they will be with you only. Because right now you guys still have fun and they, I don't know if they quite realize how you feel about them. But here's the seven of swords here. You're feeling betrayed because they still have not given you their heart. They've not given you their heart and you're having conversations with them about it. Um, how do they feel? What do they want? But they haven't released that to you yet. Then you have the knight of wands which means this is an on and off again. This is an in and out of uh, relationship. When it's good, it's good. When it's not around, they ghost you. Then you have the Ace of Swords, which you need clarity, but you do have clarity. You know exactly. You know what you want, and you have clarity. So let's see what my um, angel oracles have to say to you. What do my oracle cards have to say to you? What do my oracle cards have to say? Nine of 
manifestation. If you want this, you have got to release, like I said, the fact that you want to give, give, give to them and give them selectively just so that you can try to keep them there. It's not about that. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's about giving from your heart. It's about giving from your heart, having the conversations and moving it to the next level. And the universe will show you if you manifest and ask the universe, it will show you the one way or another. It will show you either one way or another. That's what I have for you for your love prediction reading. Taurus.